Hi and welcome. Uh, in this video you are just seeing my hands, it's a pantomime video, joking. I will be assembling this model, this adapter for the, for the SDS drills and drill bits. I will show the design, explain why I think it's a good design and of course show you how to properly assemble it to not have any problems. Uh, what is this for? Uh, this is an older model and it is put into, the, into an SDS drill. This is SDS plus standard. So I can drill through concrete and if I need to do some drilling through some metal or similar I don't have to carry an extra uh, drill. I can just put the adapter in and it will take a standard drill bit. However my old uh, model required me to carry this as well and it's easy to lose those when you are at a job site and I don't like the complexity of it so apart from that it gets the job done but I will still in this case uh, thought it's a good idea to to get something like this. This is what it looks like. Uh, so you can see better. It comes like this in, in the box and there is a tricky part. The tricky part is that this little bolt on the top is a reverse thread, so it's left-handed thread. You unscrew it in a clockwise direction and it has these small little marks that I hope you can see, so it's a positive head, not a Philips. Pay attention to that, I have an article explaining the difference between, between Philips, JS and positive and this one is positive and it sticks nicely into the, the number 3 positive bit, so that's the kind of screwdriver that you wish to use with this model and that's what we will use. Just a moment, sorry. Okay, sorry about the interruption. Where was I? Now, yes, of course. I wish to assemble it. So the way to assemble it is that this one is threaded in normally. It's a standard left uh, right-handed thread. And then from the opposite side, I hope you can see it in the camera, I need to install this one and screw it in. So that's the whole, the whole system. Uh, the, why is this a good design? The, when I'm, uh, when the drill is trying to turn this and you, uh, you have a drill bit here, the drill bit will exert torque in the opposite direction on this, this holder. It will try to, to un unscrew it in a, in a way. So when, uh, when this is threaded in and the drill bit tries to turn counterclockwise, it is self-tightening in that direction. However, uh, this one has the reverse direction so that if you do some uh, twisting in the counter direction, unscrewing or, or doing anything uh, like that, then this one will in fact tighten against this. So they are sort of securing each other one against the other. I think that's a good design that doesn't require you to use any thread locker. Most assemblies that require to use thread locker or glue basically are in my opinion just a poor, poorly designed fits and, and should be re rethought, reconsidered. So in this case, not only that I will not be using any thread locker, but I will in fact use some anti-seize to prevent this from seizing should I ever in the future wish to disassemble this for whatever reason. And I'm smearing some anti-seize here on this and on the face of it to make it easily screw in with enough preload so that it holds, that it holds properly. Okay. That's good. Now I need to screw this in. And here we have some wrench flats. So let's see which one fits. Let's try 15. No. 16. No, it's a 17. Yes, it is. So we have a 17 millimeter wrench flats. And if I want to be able to exert a lot of torque, I could just slot it into the, the drill, set the drill to the, to the hammer only, which will prevent the head from turning, it's, it's now locked. In my opinion, the more practical way is to just use the, these wrench flats and just use this by hand. It should suffice and when I start screwing this in, I can also use the, the wrench to hold it in place. That, that works for me 
perfectly well. But if you don't have a wrench, you can improvise by using this and just screwing it in using this as a, as a wrench. So, this is the, the other one. I will put it onto my bit to hold it in place. I will smear some anti seize on the face where it will force against the tool and on the threads and just screw it in. However, it's easiest for you. I just need to get that slot and to start slowly in the clockwise direction. I can hear and feel it click. I hope you can hear it in the video. There it was. Now I, I know that the thread is not cross threaded and then I can start tightening it. Okay, it's pretty tight now. I can keep, keep it in my hand and just tighten it. I'm holding it here and just keeping it in place so that I can more easily tighten this. So no, no problems there. And that is the whole procedure. Now I can use this easily and conveniently to keep my drill bits in place. I can hear it click and that's, that's it. It holds securely. It's all made of metal here and I've had good results with metal uh, to tool less uh, ordinary bit holders made by Bosch. So I hope this will last me a long time and <clears throat> me love you a long time. And the, here I also see some like wrench flats, but this is a wide di diameter. I'm not really sure in uh, which case that would be useful. Really, really I'm not. But I'm curious. Okay, this one is on a, on a bearing. But I will take uh, calipers to just measure this. 19 millimeters. Okay, so this is 19 millimeters wide. And I believe that it's designed so that when it's assembled and perhaps when you wish to disassemble it and lubricate it. For cleaning and lubrication, for all, for all those fine mechanisms, I've had pretty good results with this. It's made by WD-40 company. It says specialist PTFE or Teflon spray. It's dry. When you spray it, it completely dries pretty soon. Doesn't leave any oily residue, but keeps things lubricated and moving. So it works nice for locks, zippers, and these kinds of things that see a lot of dust and other stuff where you want to have all the fine moving parts be lubricated, but not stick much uh, dust or, or, or other debris on, on, on itself to keep it clogged. So it works okay. It can spray out any dirt and uh, with, with its, it's like this, let's try to show it. It's almost liquid and it sprays out any, any debris and keeps the things lubricated. So it is okay. It's not very durable. You need to reapply it more frequently than grease, than even than oil, and especially more frequently than grease. But it gets the job done, and it's uh, it, it's optimal. There are pros and cons to everything, so you choose for your intended use and purpose. Because you get 99% uh, of each one sold. It says heavy duty. It's from 1.5 to 13 millimeter uh, drill bit thickness, and it's not designed to be used as a hammer drill. That's important to, to note and to keep in mind. And it's uh, suitable for both tightening and loosening. It will not self-loosen because of the reasons I explained in the video. So it's, it's cool.